The opening session of the Tassels February sale saw a listed winning filly, I'll Have Another, selling to Cormac McCormack for 200,000 guineas. The former Mark Johnson trained four-year-old was a listed winner and Group 3 placed performer on the track and is out of a winning half-sister to the Group 3 placed Icon Dream and to the dam of the dual Group 1 winner La Colina and the Hampton Court stakes placed Fox Chairman. Her impressive look, strong form and attractive commercial family pushed the successful purchaser to the sale-topping bid to secure the National Stud consigned offering. We'd had on the farm roughly about seven weeks. She belonged to Mr and Mrs Rooney, very kindly sent her to us to get her ready uh, through Brian O'Rourke and Jason Maguire. And to be fair, she'd been amazing all the way through. Very, very kind, laid back. She's been amazing at the sales, you know, really gentle and, yeah, easy. I thought she'd make... 150. I thought that because she's been very busy and what have you and everything, but yeah, to make 200 grand's great, really is. Has a bit of a race record as you can see, and we thought that she would suit 10 sovereigns, and that's where she's after. And, and what was it in particular that, that makes you think she'll suit a horse like 10 sovereigns? She's size, strength, and scope, and your man's a neat, lovely horse group one winner, July Cup. The whole thing seems to fit. At 200,000, last call I sell. Cormac McCormack, thank you very much indeed. Demand for stock to continue their racing careers overseas also continued into this sale, with Lot 159 Powerlink destined to head to Saudi Arabia to join the Emblem Stable String, a regular purchaser here at Tattersall's. The James Tate trained four-time all-weather winner was signed for by Paul Murphy of CNC Transport. He's a gorgeous big horse, uh, good rating. He's going to Saudi Arabia for Emblem Stables and Paul Harley, the agent who's out there at the moment with his clients, asked me to do the bidding today. But uh, he's vetted clean this morning and I think he'll do very well out there. What sort of horse is it that you're specifically looking for for a, a programme like that? I mean, he is the type of horse. That's, like I said, it's a shame he didn't. The sale wasn't two weeks ago. He probably would have aimed them at the bigger races. But I mean, he'll, he'll have a, he'll have two weeks in Newmarket, ease down, and then he'll go back out and hopefully be ready for for later on the season. I think he'd probably mainly be aimed at the dirt. He's run well on the all weather, so we'll just keep doing that. A large Godolphin draft proved one of the draws of the opening session, with lot 156, Memphis, an unraced daughter of leading stallion Dubawi, topping the bill when selling to Matt Holdsworth of Housen and Holdsworth for 62,000 guineas. The half-sister to Group 1 winner Lyric of Light, out of Group 1 runner-up Suez, boasts a deep pedigree, including such household names as ZZ Top, Izzy Top, Opera House and Cave Tara, a selling point which attracted the interest of the Australian-based client who stretched to the draft-topping sum. The mixed sale also saw several yearlings led through the ring, with Lot 109, a filly by Churchill, a stallion with his first crop of yearlings this year, headlining the offering during the opening session when selling to Tally Ho's Roger O'Callaghan for 56,000 guineas. Consigned by the Castle Bridge Consignment, the April-born filly is a half-sister to seven winners, including Group 2 winner Paul Senna, and will be re-offered for sale either later in the year as a yearling or at the Breeze-Ups the following year.